I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. The whole idea of this website is to organize these 20,000 videos to provide you with an excellent systematic access to my videos. We are also including a section where we will help you train for admissions to the best universities. Now in that section, we are going to have some challenging questions. One of the challenging questions from that is here before you. We need to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equals to 9 to the power of x. I would like you to pause the video, try this out and then look into my suggestions. Let me tell you that to solve this, we have to use more than um, one concept, right? Rather, I should say that many topics which you have learned will help you provide solution when they come together, right? So here, the strategy is is basically to uh, apply your learnings. Right, so that is, it should be covering more than one uh, topic or a chapter or a concept to solve this particular question. So let us see how to solve it. First thing what you observe is numbers 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equals to 9 to the power of x. So we have different bases. However, we do have uh, something 2 and 3, right? So 4 could be written as 2 square. 6 can be written as 2 times 3, 9 can be written as 3 squared. So we could at least write this equation in terms of 2's and 3's. So let's begin by copying the equation 4 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equals to 9 to the power of x. So we could write 4 as 2 squared, right? So we get 2 squared to the power of x plus 6 could be written as 2 times 3 to the power of x equals to 3 square to the power of x. So which basically becomes 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x. Let's bring this to the left side. So we get here 3 to the power of 2x equals to 0. So we have an equation uh, which has just uh, two different bases, 2 and 3. Now, how to work with this? Well, what we can do here is uh, we can divide by 2 uh, to the power of 2x or let's change the variables and then look into further simplification. So just to make it more easily to un easy to understand, we'll now substitute. Uh, we'll say let a will be equals to 2 to the power of x and we'll replace uh, 3 to the power of x with b. So we'll do this substitution and then continue. So what we get here is a to the power of x plus, now 2 to the power of x is a, and that is b, right? So a times b minus b to the power of x equals to 0. Um, sorry, a, a square, I'm sorry, a square, and that is b square, right? So because we changed 2 to the power of x with a, so we are left with a square here, and here we get a b, and that is b square, correct. So we get a square plus a b minus b square. Now, we can actually divide by, let's say, uh, one of these numbers, and uh, we could divide by a square or by b square, correct? So let's divide by b square. So what we get here is a square over b square plus a times b over b square minus b square over b square equals to zero. So what do you at this stage observe that we get an equation which involves a over b, right? So, so we have a over b whole square plus in this case 
B and B cancel and we get A over B, right? You could have divided by A square also, so we could do either one of them, minus 1 equals to 0. Now, in this equation, if I make another substitution, which is A over B as some variable, then we have a quadratic equation, perfect? So, so think about it. So, if I substitute A over B with some other parameter, let us say C, right? So, in that case, what we get here is C square plus C minus 1 equals to 0, right? So, where C is equals to A over B. Is that clear to you? Now, C square plus C minus 1 equals to 0 is a quadratic equation. And we can solve this equation using quadratic formula, correct? So, we can now write the quadratic formula to find the value of C. So, C will be equals to minus of coefficient of this, which is minus 1, right? plus minus square root of b square which is 1 minus 4ac means times 4 since that is minus 1 divided by 2. So we get the value of c as equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. So, uh, so we have c as a over b and that is what we have. A and B are exponential functions. A is 2 to the power of x and B is 3 to the power of x. Correct? So, from here, we know that A over B should be greater than 0. Right? Since A is 2 to the power of x and B is 3 to the power of x. Basically, it is 2 over 3 to the power of x. Right? We know 2 over 3 to the power of x. We know that is greater than 0. So, we have to take a value which is greater than 0. So, that gives you that the only value which C can have is a positive value, not minus minus, right? So, so C can have minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 as your answer, correct? So, that becomes the value of C. Now, C is taken as A over B, which is basically 2 over 3 to the power of X, correct? So, we could replace C with 2 over 3 to the power of x as equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Correct? So, so here we have an um, equation which can be solved using logarithms. Correct? So, we can now take log and answer this particular question. If I take log on both sides, then we get x times log of 2 over 3 equals 2 log of all this. Let me rewrite as square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. Perfect. So, the value of x will be equal to log of square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 times 1 over log of 2 over 3. So we can now use the calculator to find this answer. So the answer should be log of uh, within brackets we have uh, let's put one more brackets here square root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 okay so so we have uh, yes divide by 2 and then we'll divide this by let's figure this out and then we are going to divide this by 1 by log 2 over 3 right so divide by log 2 divided by 3 So that gives you an answer which is equal to 1.1868. So the value of x is equal to 1.1868. So that is how you could actually solve this particular question. So I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. 
as you can see in this particular example what we did was first we replaced these numbers with the exponents with bases of 2 and 3 reorganized our equations substituted and then found a quadratic equation in terms of a over b right a over b a is 2 to the power of x and b is 3 to the power of x correct so a over b since it is an exponential function it has to be greater than 0 a is 2 to the power of x b is 3 to the power of x so 2 to the power, 2 over 3 to the power of x has to be greater than 0 so that is the value of c right so so c which is equals to 2 over 3 to the power of x was found to be square root 5 minus 1 over 2 and now we can use the properties of logarithms to solve the equation and get our answer so i hope these steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and your suggestions thank you